Okay, so we're here at the hunting grounds. All right, um, we're just gonna go over some of the basic stuff that I got. So um, maybe you guys can see uh, the equipment I use. So let's take a quick look. We got a nice gunny sack. That way we can throw all of them in there. We got cushion for the tush. We got pellets. Um, I'm gonna be using JSB Kings today. Put them in the pocket. We got the range finder. All important to know how far away they are. And most importantly, we got the air rifle. And today we're gonna use the FX500. It's a regulated gun. It's got 70 shots per fill and it's deadly accurate. So let's get out to hunting. All right, here's a look at kind of where we're hunting. I got lots of corn, lots of field. There's three or four smaller patches of woods. Sorry if it's shaky. Um, I forgot to bring my little tripod, so I think things are going to be a little rugged today. But well, we're going to give it the old college try. So we'll be back with you as soon as we're in the woods. So anyhow, uh, we just had a couple squirrels. Uh, we didn't get a shot, but um, they're out today quite a bit. So. We're going to just kind of sit still and see what happens. We were headed down to a different patch of woods, but with all the activity here, I think we're going to hang out for just a little bit. Hopefully something will something will happen. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, there's the patch of woods we're headed to. Um, the other one didn't pan out. There's a lot of activity, but as soon as they got uh, sight of me, they decided to go hide. And uh, it's a really small patch, so once they all go into hiding, it's hours before they come back out. We'll look into maybe hunting that a little bit later. Later on this year when the leaves are off the trees and you can see, I could hear some around, but with the foliage, it's just real hard. So and I really wanted to get back to this patch. It has a lot of squirrels in it. Should be a lot of fun today. All right, let's go. Okay, um, here I am, Cricket. My resolve is a stick. I'm gonna screw the camera on that. Uh, I didn't bring my little clampy device. Uh, I left that home. So anyways, we're entering the woods that I want to hunt right now. Uh, the wind's starting to pick up, unfortunately. Maybe we should have hustled down here earlier. Would have been nice to get on a little earlier, but let's see what we can do. So I'll take you through the woods here and, and you'll see a little bit of what I get to see. This is the edge of the woods. Got some little trail here, and we're gonna head back to a, a deadfall back here, and we'll see how it goes. So, again, sorry if it's a little bit messed up. Hopefully next time I'll, I'll bring my tripod. So anyhow, why don't we uh, get our stealth on here and sneak in the woods and see what we can find. As you see, everything is super thick. Um, it's really hard to find the squirrels in all this green leaves. The foliage is plenty thick right now. So, all right, we'll, uh, we'll be back when we get set up here. That's a good idea of what we're hunting. Hey guys, here we are set up. Um, looks like the camera stick is going to do its job. Hopefully it won't be too bad today. Um, I got a little clearing in here. So we're going to hunker down against a, a deadfall and we'll kind of see what we can see. I'll give you a quick pan. I got you attached to the rifle now. So looks like about 25, 30 yards. You guys should be seeing what I'm seeing. So uh, hopefully next time we'll remember everything we're supposed to. Anyhow, you can see the leaves are thick. It's going to be hard to spot them today. So, I find in springtime a lot of times um, you're shooting them off the ground. Um, they're 
they're down and active a lot when it's like this. So, anyways, you got a good idea what we're hunting. So I'm gonna put you on hold again until hopefully some action happens. All right, we'll be talking to you. We missed our opportunity because he snuck up here pretty fast. Let's see what he does. ground. Um, that was a tough one. It's been a long, long uh, hunt with nothing happening. Uh, we saw him run across over here and then uh, we lost track of him. It looked to be a nice fox squirrel so uh, we placed a pellet right behind his head the way it looks. So let's go up there and take a look and see what we got all this foliage to really hard to get any kind of decent shot you lose them so quick so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to find him here that's a challenge too but I heard him hit the ground and I didn't hear nothing else so uh, it'd be hard for you guys to see but I had a clean shot at his vitals, so should have been a nice shot, 34 yards approximately. I range-finded that tree a little earlier, so there's a tree he came out of. Let's see what we can find here. Now there he is right there. All right. Nice clean shot. A nice fox squirrel. Um, one thing I like about the 25 caliber is it knocks them pretty much clean out. Uh, I find with some of the other guns that calibers it doesn't do that. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Like we got him right behind the shoulder blade on the exit and the inside is right there right in the shoulder blade so perfect boiler room hit it looks like a nice size younger younger squirrel so I'm happy about that let's hopefully we can get a couple more all right guys we'll see you in a little bit all right we're back here at the place where I set up. I'm up against a tree and I got another bigger tree 
try to really conceal my presence in the woods. So there's the fox squirrel that we just got. We're going to toss him in a Ziploc bag and put him in that, that knapsack in just a minute here. So the shot was taken offhand and right up at that tree. He was 34 yards and he was hiding from. So anyways, just to recap on, on what we were doing here, I use a, this little knapsack pretty cheap you can buy them for just a few bucks and I use gallon size Ziploc bags that way nothing gets bloody and we just toss them in a bag and toss them in a sack so hopefully we'll get a, a chance at another one here pretty soon it's been a long long morning like I said this is probably oh, 12 30 and we started at about 8 30 and uh, seen lots of squirrels although for a while it's been kind of slow like just getting a shot at the squirrels is next to impossible here. If they're on the ground, they're, they're gone. So luckily we were able to, to spot that one up in those trees and, and get a shot at them. Looks like I blew that one. Um, I forgot to <laughs> load up another pellet. So when I had a shot and I pulled on the trigger, uh, nothing happened. So he was on the move. Gave me one opportunity and uh, messed it up. Well, guys. Um, seeing as how uh, it's been quite a long day, I gotta head back to town. So hunting is over for today, unless we see something on our way out of the woods. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't do too good on numbers of gotten, but we did see a lot of squirrels in the woods. Um, they were just barking like crazy just a little bit ago. I mean, they're all around just barking. And I try to hone in on one, and unfortunately. You can't be stealthy in this dry, uh, leafy environment with sticks everywhere, so my stealth isn't up to sneaking up on them in here today. So some days we can do it, today is not one of them. So anyhow, thanks for uh, watching and look forward to making some more videos. Hopefully this one turned out somewhat okay and we didn't have a lot of action as far as shooting goes, but we had a lot of fun being out in the woods. So. Thanks and have a great day.